35. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. Elephant. Ain't no dimension going into that brain. It was late. Yeah. It was probably midnight. We gathered out there on that bridge. They gave us this little medal to pull. Coach Phil made us wear a suit, by the way. We had to put on a coat and a jacket and a tie. He wanted us to look good. So we put our little medals on that we won for the state championship. And there's a band. And there's the cheerleaders. And these are major rats. And we're lining up on that side of the bridge. We cross this bridge to come into town. Who do you think's on both sides of the street? Fans. Our fans. <laughs> I mean, the street was packed, and this is 11:35 or 11:36. <laughs> <laughs> And the fans are out there. I mean, the streets are packed. There's the band playing their songs. There's the majorette. There's the children. And we're all marching through town, and we march all the way over to the school. Now, for me, as a little country bunkin, that was a pretty good memory, and it's been emblazed in my mind for 51 years now since that was our junior year. But, but it was a lot of fun coming back into town, and I think that... Everybody here is of the same mindset in that we grew up in a wonderful era. We had, as John said, wonderful teachers. Absolutely. I'm talking about, yeah, you know, of course, we didn't have kindergarten back when we started, so we started in first grade. But from first grade to 12th grade, did you all think we had some good teachers? Yeah. Well, yeah. I will say, I will say that most of us guys, we really needed uh, Francis McAway in his senior year. Because when Virginia Schaefer came in in junior year in a mini skirt, they started teaching us English. Sat on the dance. Sounds like one of your good memories there, John. So you like you like the shaver better than you did. She taught me stuff that I lived with for years. She paid good attention when she talked. She paid attention. I mean, I can't get That's my seat. I'm reserving that seat. I think that. We were, we were, the, you know, there's a song back in that era called The Fortunate Ones. Remember that? Who did that, John? Was that Creedence? Creedence. Creedence, Creedence, Creedence Clearwater. Say that fast. Creedence Clearwater Revival. The Fortunate Ones. CCR. CCR. So we were the Fortunate Ones. Our era. We grew up at a very fortunate time. I don't care if we were fighting a war in Vietnam. I mean, I care that we were fighting a war in Vietnam. We had classmates that served in that war. We have classmates that have gotten sick from serving in that war. We, we, had, the highest, because of. we had the highest per capita loss of boys from that war right here. Right here in Marlin? Per capita. Yep. Pocahontas County. Oh, for Pocahontas County. Pocahontas County. Sorry, Pocahontas County. So there were a lot of things, a lot of things going on at that era from our high school years, freshman through senior. But I think, if I recall, didn't they put a man on the moon? Yep. What was that date, Michael? Yes. Of what? July. July 20th, 1969. Who was he? Yeah, Joe Armstrong. Armstrong. This guy's got a memory too. He doesn't have any dementia yet. He's, got, <laughs> he's clicking. It's all he's stuck. I just I forget who people are. Who are you? <laughs> forget faces and names. We got a lot of good things that went on in 1969. In addition to being involved in a war, we had a lot of good things going on. And I don't think that we necessarily through our years in high school knew about those. To some degree, maybe we were a little bit insulated because we had a tight community. We had good teachers. Woodstock. 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 Holy oh, yeah. That was August uh, 1920, somewhere in there. The reason I can remember Woodstock in August is because I went to Concord that freshman year and of course we hadn't I had never been experiencing people from New Jersey, New York City, hippies. You talked about hippies earlier. Well, you know, there were people at that time that we weren't necessarily hippies, but there were hippies in 1969. <laughs> Probably Marshall had them too, didn't they, Ann? I'd say every university in the country had hippies. So that was my first time to see the hippies, you know, with the little ring glasses and the pants with the cuffs on the bottom of them. And, you know, they had a certain way of dressing. 
So a hippie generation from 